In today's video, I'm going to show you how to open files from Logic or GarageBand or MainStage inside Ableton using its built-in device sampler. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of Ableton Live with building a stable live keyboard rig and with mastering sound design. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so Ableton's sampler can in fact open EXS24 instruments. So if you're switching from MainStage or Logic, this is a really good thing to know because it will let you rebuild certain patches really quickly. However, any audio effects will not transfer over, so those will have to be rebuilt manually. All right, so let's have a look here at how this is done. First thing that we're going to need to do is open up our Finder. And I'm going to choose Go and open up my computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose Macintosh Hard Drive, Library, Application Support, this view is just a little bit more clear. Um, and I'm actually going to choose GarageBand. Now, you might choose Logic if your patch is coming directly from Logic, but I find that actually a lot of my patches, for whatever reason, are stored under this uh, GarageBand folder. All right, so uh, now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to just choose any EXS file that I would like. So I'm going to choose this Celtic Hammer Dulcimer, and I'm just going to drag it into Ableton. Okay, and it's going to know that this is an instrument that has some samples that need to be attached to it. Now, we'll navigate to almost the same place, right? So here's our path. We did hard drive library, application support, garage band, instrument library, and here are sampler instruments. But what we really want is the samples. So I'm going to choose sampler, and we'll choose sampler files. And now we have to find our Celtic hammered dulcimer. And we're looking for this guy here, this Trill E-flat. Okay, we're getting warm E4. Trill, here it is. E4 flat AIF. And as soon as I click open, it's going to render out that instrument. And now I can drag it in, just like that. And when I play... It's brought over all of the files and even put them in the right place. Now, as I mentioned before, um, it's not going to bring over any audio effects. So if there are audio effects that you want to use, you'll have to bring those in manually. Now, what I want you to do is make sure you check out this video that's going to help you choose the four things you must do if you're switching from main stage to Ableton and if you're on the fence about which software you should be using to perform live. I've got a video here that will help you with that as well. There are opportunities to work more closely with me in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time on LiveKeyboardist.com.